Hello everyone, welcome to Elliot with Desfocus.com YouTube channel. This is Henry and today is Friday, March 12th. The time is 4 a.m. GMT. Uh, today we are going to take a look at the Euro dollar, Euro dollar 60 minutes chart here. Um, now we can see from this chart that we ended with 4. Alright, we ended with 4. Um, this is the this is the uh, the cycle degree I believe let me make sure sorry this is the primary degree right this is the primary degree okay and uh, now we have that means we are now starting with 5 to the upside right that means we are starting with 5 to the upside and the rally looks looks so far looks to be like a 5 waves now there are a couple of different ways to move around, shift around the labels, um, but <coughs> but I think <coughs> overall it does look like a five waves, uh, shorter cycle rally, right? So we could either end with three right here from the lows. So let's check out the Fibonacci extension here, right? Almost one point six one eight. So uh, that makes uh, more sense that we might still only end with three from the lows, or as an alternate, uh, we could also shift around some of the labels, three, four, and then this is your five, and if that's the case, then we we have ended the five ways up, right? Uh, but that those are minor changes, guys. Those are minor changes. Doesn't matter that much, and. I mean both are possibilities right both are possibilities and the idea here is that uh, there is a possibility that as long as the pullback stays above that low on m uh, March the 9th then we might be able to see another leg higher right we might be able to see another leg higher so at least if this is not one two three of some kind uh, like a new bullish cycle at least we could be doing uh, an ABC right so if if this is truly five waves then I think we should at least be able to get another leg higher in the form of an ABC now if we look at the larger degree uh, so for our chart so I'm putting here the same C and 4 that you see in the one hour on the four hour chart so I think based on this we can sort of guess what exactly the count is right so that means if this is a C and a 4, that means the 3 most likely start from here. And then you got what looks like... This can either be ABC or WXY. really doesn't matter that much, honestly. <coughs> Alright, could be ABC or WXY. Because you can also argue this is 3 swing and this is also can be 3 swing instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, so it really doesn't matter that much now I think uh, the more important the more interesting thing here is that uh, this is technically a three swing correction from this peak here on January this year this is a three swing correction and it hits perfect hundred percent rally right it rallies so we actually uh, bought this uh, pullback in the live trading room we have live trading room every day we give signal setups and so on uh, we bought it here right at the level here 100 percent and uh, now our position is already in profit uh, and we're gonna be of course manage our our trades and uh, what we call creating risk-free position in which uh, we're gonna be moving stop loss initial stop loss so that we don't have any risk uh, any longer all right in case in case you know bear suddenly breaks down again or sells off again uh, the, the the beauty of our system in the live trading room is that um, we always enter at the area in which whether we are right or wrong eventually still we're gonna get a reaction from the area so this way we have a chance to uh, create what we call a risk-free position because whenever you ha you are able to move your stop loss um, to your entry level for example then you technically do not have any risk any longer because even if the market turns lower again against you 
and then uh, you, it, you get stopped out but there is no loss anymore right so uh, so this trade here is still ongoing right and uh, is is almost risk-free for us in the live trading room right so but now is the time that it needs to decide for example whether we really can go higher or uh, because the thing is a lot of people only look at this and not looking at the logic but the idea here is that technically speaking euro now has to pr prove itself by really rallying and break above this high again now if it cannot even do that then you can call this a w here you can call this an X and then you can break down and go to the next target here around 116, 115, right? So that's why entering at the right area is extremely, extremely important. I mean, the trading technique is extremely important, right? Uh, you know, like just because we have a forecast and so on doesn't mean we can randomly trade every single thing. And that's the thing that a lot of people uh, actually do not understand. Uh, they do not have the necessary uh, trading system or trading skill set to be able to identify what to trade, what not to trade, where to trade, right? Uh, anyhow, so now we are seeing this uh, reaction higher from this 100%, which is good. Now, the only question now is, okay, well, we still have to break above here, which is still a very long way to go. But what about the shorter cycle? When the shorter cycle looks like five waves, so uh, as far as we stay above 11830, then it looks like we might be able to see at least some sort of ABC at minimum, right? So if this is not a new bullish cycle, like a one, two, three, four, five, then uh, if this is truly five waves then at least we can get some sort of ABC and then if it fails then it fails here and then drop again like this all right so that's what we got here in the euro dollars and as always um, if you want to check our service or join the live trading room please uh, we have 14 days free trial the link is provided in the description of the video see you all again uh, next week have a nice day everyone